In order to archive email, you're going to need something that creates PDFs. And if you don't have Adobe Acrobat, the full version, which gives you a PDF printer, uh, the best tool that you can use is called Primo PDF. And right here is the official site. So we're going to click on that. Um, they have a paid for version called Nitro Pro. We don't want that. We want the free version, which is over here. And this is going to take us to CNET. So they've loaded it onto CNET so that you can download it from CNET. Click on the green button. Don't click on this one down here. So we're going to download it from CNET. And then it's going to ask us, uh, do we want to run this? And we'll say yes. We could save it. Or we could just run it from the download. So now it's downloading it and it's going to install the the software. So we're going to say it's okay to do it. And we want the English version. And this is the wizard. We want to have this. And it's going to ask you to register. So I'm going to register. and put in an email address in. Go next. So now it's going to do the installation. And uh, just like that, it's probably finished. Um, so uh, in order to verify that, we can uh, go to the printers and look in the devices and printers and see if it's there. And there it is. It's just like a printer. So uh, in the next session, we're going to see how to use it uh, to, to archive email to a PDF.